Stunning news surfaced yesterday about an eight-year-old kidnapping case with Rockford ties. A 14-year-old boy claims he is Timothy Pitson. Throughout the years, police have received a number of tips of Timothy Pitson sightings, but they always led to dead ends. Now police say a 14-year-old claims he escaped two kidnappers who held him hostage for over seven years. And Timothy's family members are holding their breath, hoping he's back. Cautiously hopeful. Very cautiously hopeful. If it turns out to be him, we'll be thrilled. Timothy's heartbroken family had never stopped believing he was out there alive. Was this 14-year-old really Timothy? Had he finally come home? Investigators had their doubts, but brought the boy to a children's hospital for DNA testing. We're learning new details about the criminal history of a man who allegedly claimed to be Timothy Pitson, an Illinois boy who disappeared nearly eight years ago. Police say the man is actually Brian Reney. He was a 23-year-old imposter who claimed he was inspired to pretend to be Timothy after seeing his story on TV. Prosecutors say his story didn't match up, though, after DNA proved he was not Pitson. Today I'm speaking with Timothy Pitson's father, Jim Pitson, and Aunt Kara, as well as the brother of the imposter. What would make someone pull off such a cruel hoax? And the other question that has now bubbled to the surface is, is Timothy out there alive? And if so, where? Who did this suicidal mother give him to? I'm a very sorry for the circumstance. I hope that um, that we find your son and I hope that what we do today shines a big bright light over this and gets people to pay attention and, and maybe they'll tell us something that will help us, right? We're gonna eventually find Timothy. Uh, I know that in my heart. It's, yeah. it's not if, it's a when type of thing this, at this point. Talk to me about the couple of weeks leading up to his disappearance in terms of your relationship with Amy. What was going on between the two of you? Amy's friend had got her tickets for a vacation down the Bahamas for a week. And uh, did nobody inform me on it. And she says, I'm just gonna go. And I'm like, you just can't go. We got this going on. Tim's got school. I'll just take him out of school for a week. I'm like, no, we don't, can't take him out of school, so. Was it unusual for her to go on vacation without you? Yeah. Was there angst between you and Amy, did y'all have anger, bitterness, resentment between each other? Time, I didn't think there was any anger or bitterness towards each other at that point. When was the last time you saw your son alive? I dropped him off at uh, kindergarten that morning. She usually drops him off at kindergarten. I pick him up after kindergarten, take him to daycare, and then I get off work, I pick him up at daycare and take him home. But the school knows you and your wife both. Yes. What was the last thing he said to you and you said to him? He said, love you, Dad. I go, I'll see you after, after school, buddy. And I watched him run off to class. 